Attention, attention everyone. Remember the needy and hungry when you're good training tonight. No forget for bringing UNICEF cans and be sure for bring them back tomorrow. Times. I'm not ever gonna win a costume contest anyway. But you're gonna look so cute. Think about it, lovey. Ten dollar prize if we win. Wait, I go look like one Tony Tino. You will. Karen, I'm gonna use your mother's curling iron. <laughs> what? What are you? No, what are you? What? The mom will give me a Michael Jackson hair for Halloween or what? You call this English? Positions, with a few exceptions, were terrible. How many times have I told you you can't write the way you talk? You're speaking a low class form of good standard English. Continue, and you will go nowhere in life. I don't tell anyone, not even Jerry, how ashamed I am of my family. The way they talk and act dumb. Like my uncle Steve, who practically live in our garage. Okay. We're going to practice our standard English. Let's pretend this is a job interview. You will tell me your name and your plans for future employment. Mr. Kawana Nakoa. My name is Kakani, going on a call. Um, I like being a comedian when I grow up because I like me make people laugh. Um, oh, I tell you a joke right now. Why the baker so mean? Never mind. Okay, Sinatra. Uh, my name's Jerome Lim. Stand up. Uh, my name's Jerome. For future employment, I want to be a Broadway dancer. No, wait. A hula dancer for the Polynesian Culture Center. Thank you. Miss Nariyoshi. My name is Lovey Nariyoshi. I'm waiting. Sometimes. I think Mr. Harvey doesn't mean to be mean to us. But I cannot talk the way he wants me to. I cannot make it sound his way. Unless I'm playing pretend talk Howley with Jerry. My plan is to move out of this freaking... Come on, cut this nonsense. Stop playing these silly plantation games. Come on! I mean, out of this town and... I have plans. No, I plan. The sound, the sound from my mouth. I, I like. If I let it rip so right out of the lips, I go, I, always comes out like home. When I grow up, I'm going to be one like B, and nobody better to say nothing about it, or I'm going to kill him. <laughs> oh really? Not the way you talk. That was terrible. Well. Just gonna have to practice and practice our standard English until we get it right. Why we gotta go trick or treat at Reed Cell every year? Everyone knows all the Mill Camp kids go because they give you all kind of chocolate. What, you like more better stay home and get the junk kind black and orange candy again? Bet you tomorrow, everyone will see you have chocolate in your bag and say, Whoa, bro, when we tell her, I see you, bro, you are still here. And then Trisha London will say, ah, What were you doing in our neighborhood? Do 
Don't think about candy in the milk house. There's everyone a Jehovah's Witness around Halloween. Come on. Love, love will well, keep us together. Jerry, hey. come. Show us that dance again. Come on, Jerry. Let's go do my hair. Let's go. Go ahead. I catch up. Sometimes I think Jerry just wants to be an honorary ray of the rising dawn. Larry promises him all the time that she'll nominate him. But only Lari likes him. All the other club members think he's one it. You know, one boy who act like one girl. But Jerry thinks Lari's going to be his ticket in. Who wouldn't want to be a ray of the rising dawn? They all have the same Japan pencil and Japan pencil cases. They all smell like Love's Baby Soft. Or like lemons. Or blueberries. And all the same scent on the same day.